Lighting is a key thing, whether you're studio based or, or location based. So lighting for me is key. I generally prefer and known for using a monolight. I use one light, which is a Rembrandt lighting, which also becomes your split lighting, it becomes every light. It's just how you how you use it. And a lot of my shots are one light. If you go onto my website and have a look, a lot of the pictures, even where it looks like a lot's going on in the background, it's one light. For example, if I used an LED light or a redhead or a blonde or Arri lights, for example, I can use the barn doors to split the light. So half the light comes onto the face and half of the light illuminates in the background. And then I'll use the shadows of the barn doors in the background to make it a little bit more informative. So lighting is a key component to photography. Obviously, light, shape and form. It's photography is all about light, shape and form. That's my mantra, light, shape, form, light, shape, form. Lighting will give you the ability to take the most bland subject look fantastic and um, the most fantastic subject look even better. I learned my lighting over the years by using the master photographer's books such as this, this book here, that book there. This celebrates the art of the classic Hollywood photography photographers um, and Marlena Dietrich and all this type of stuff. My favorite pictures, you know, Hedy Lamarr and all sorts of things. Ernest Bacharach, Sinclair Bull, George Harrell. If I'm working very quickly like this picture of a gentleman I photographed, it's one light, but I get my assistant to hold one light, an LED light, balance it all out, and then I hold the other light like this, hold the camera in the portrait, and I move the light around like this with LED light, and you can do this, get creative with the light, and you can see the shadows moving in and out. You, yeah, a great move that way. That's how I do some of my shoots, very quickly and very um, avant-garde style. Pictures come from very quick and minimum movements of light and camera and, and, and settings. Shooting into the light is a great way of enhancing your photography. It gives you a great way of controlling it, you get wraparound lighting around the subject matter, it envelops the picture, goes high key, but the colours and the saturation on the inside of it is absolutely fantastic. Workflow is a particularly important process for any photographer and you know in the old days we'd use workflow would be buy your films from the lab, take them on location, shoot them all, number them all, wrap them up, put them into bags, bring them back, take them down to the lab, process them, clip test them, take them to the client, the client has them, off you go. We now it's a similar type of thing. You've got to have a good workflow and that is exactly something that you need to work out for yourself. My workflow is, you know, from a studio, I will tether. I'll tether to a hard drive. The hard drive is captured by a digital tech who then assign all the different grades to everything and keep it consistent. Those then go out onto the system. The system then is Lightroom or Capture One. So if I'm capturing it and tethering it to Capture One, I can do the processing within that or I get um, a retoucher to do it. And if I'm not shooting tethered, I'll make sure I shoot to a card, straight from the camera to the card, then it comes up in Lightroom. From Lightroom, I'm not very, I'm not an advocate of the five-star technique, unless I'm with a client and they're previewing the pictures there, I'll do the, the starring technique. Um, however, when I'm doing my work, I'll just shortlist the images, so I go through and I know straight away what the good images are over time, I go, yet yeah, no, yet yeah, no. I put them into its own little folder, and then from there, I use Lightroom to do basic edits and techniques and, and grades, cropping, brightness, contrasts, um, dynamic range pulling back. I use that to set up my digital files for then passing into Photoshop. Photoshop is the way I process every single image that goes out to clients. And just on a note, when I'm working more on an advertising contract, then I will put out my retouching and post-production to a specialist who's got better skills in skin and hair. That's something not brilliant at. I do my own skin, but to a certain level, but for advertising, they need a lot more quality and you know, it's time consuming while you're doing all of this, it could be doing something else. So you've got to work out what, you know, what your workflow is going to be.